I'm going to show you how to make Creative Kiwi's hexagonal reversible table topper and for that I'm going to be using my 4x4 hoop with wash away stabiliser and I'm going to be floating cut away on top I've got my curved scissors, my tape I've got matching bobbin and threads because this is reversible I've got the gold for the satin stitching and I've got the white for the quilting and I've got my fabrics and batting all cut to size before we get going I just wanted to explain how I went about fussy cutting my fabric you've got uh, a couple of ways of doing this you can stitch round number three on some cutaway stay uh, not cutaway stabilizer sorry some tearaway stabilizer then cut out the circle and use that in the same way as I'm going to use this or if you've got a, a die cutter like I have you can use a, a circular die to cut a hole of the appropriate size I think this is 8.2 centimeters uh, diameter this hole and then you can use that just to put over and frame the area of the fabric that you want to use and then I just use one of my um, dissolvable fabric pens and then just draw around and then cut it out okay so we're going to start off I've hooped my wash away stabilizer we're going to be doing lots of hooping in this so I thought we'd cut down time just on the first one so I've hooped my wash away stabilizer I'm going to place some um, cutaway stabilizer on top and the reason I do that is so that once the wash away has been washed away um, there's still stabilizer there to support the stitching and I'm just going to take that in place just so that it doesn't slide around during stitching and I'm going to pop that into my machine I've loaded file A and I'm now going to stitch round one which is the outline I've just slipped a piece of paper under here so you can see the outline there I'm going to place my batting over the top of that outline and my uh, bottom fabric uh, which it will be the outside hexagonal frame fabric over the top of that and I'm just going to pop a little bit of tape there just to hold it in place while it stitches I'm now going to pop that into my machine and stitch round number two now comes my fussy fabric at a 30 degree angle so I'm just going to turn this clockwise just by one and place this in the middle and take it down I now pop that in my machine and stitch round number three I've changed my threads over to white and I'm now going to stitch round number four and that's going to do the quilting in the circle Next is round number five, which is the E uh, um, out of Easter. Uh, but I'm not stitching that because this is going to be a more of an all year round table mat. So I'm go I've set my machine to, to go to uh, number six next. I'm going to trim up around um, the center here of the excess fabric. next I'm going to add my backing so I'm going to turn my hoop over to the back and I'm going to place my fabric my backing fabric over the outline and just pop a little bit of tape down to hold it in place I'm now going to pop that into my machine and stitch round number six and that's going to secure the backing fabric next is the zigzagging around the circle so I'm going to pop that into my machine and stitch round number seven so there's the zigzagging I've changed my bobbin and thread back to gold and next is round number eight and that's going to do the quilting on the outer frame 
Next we're going to trim up all the excess batting, uh, batting fabric and stabiliser and I mean cutaway stabiliser not the, the uh, wash away <laughs> and I'm going to start with the back Next is a satin stitch around the circle. So I'm now going to pop that into my machine and stitch round number nine. Isn't that lovely? And there's the back. Okay. Next is round number 10 and that's going to do the satin stitch around these three edges. So that's the edge stitched. So it's now time to free it from the hoop. So I'm going to turn it over and cut it away from the back. And that completes our first hexagon. So we're now going to hoop up a second piece of wash away stabiliser. And I'm going to place a piece of cutaway in the middle as before and tape it in place. I'm now going to load file B into my machine ready and then I'm going to stitch round number one which will be the outline again. I'm going to place my batting down over the front of the outline and pop my fabric on top and tape it down so that it doesn't move. I'll now pop that in my machine and stitch round number two. Next I'm going to add my fussy cut fabric and as before I've got to turn it to a 30 degree angle so there's the, the up and down, 30 is straight across here so I'm just going to turn that round like so and add my fabric to the centre and then I'm going to tape it in place. I'm now going to pop that in my machine and stitch round number three. Next is round number four and that's the quilting of the circle. As before I'm skipping round number five which is the next letter uh, which is the letter T um, and I'm going to trim up my excess fabric around the fussy fabric here. Next I'm going to turn my hoop over and place my backing fabric over the outline and tape it in place. I'll now pop that in my machine and stitch round number six to secure it. Next is a zigzagging around the circle and that's round number seven. I've loaded my machine with matching gold bobbin and thread and I'm now going to stitch round number 8 which is going to do the quilting around the frame. Next is round number 9 and that's going to do the satin stitch around the circle. So next we're going to trim away all the excess both back and front starting 
with the back. Next we're going to add our previous piece to this one along this edge so that's the top right hand side of the hexagon so I'm going to turn that round and with the stitch line here I'm going to overlap it onto the stitch line there and I'm going to pin it into my hoop. I'm going to put my pins right up by the side of my hoop. I don't want them in the way of my stitch line because they can do a lot of damage to your machine. So now I'm going to pop that into my machine and stitch round number 10 and that's going to zigzag these two pieces together. So there's the line of zigzagging. You want to check at this stage as well that you haven't got anything poking through, any little threadies and things like that. If you have, just trim them off. If you've got fabric poking through, then just run your scissors along the zigzagging stitch and reposition it and stitch round number 10 again. Next, I'm going to pop this into my machine and stitch round number 11, and that's going to do the satin stitch around these edges. I can now remove my pins and cut this free of the hoop. I'm just going to pull this back towards here so that when I cut from the other side I don't cut through it. And there we have our first two pieces joined. Okay, to save time on this video, I've hooped my wash away stabilizer. I've placed my cutaway over the top and taped it down. I've loaded um, file C into my machine, and I'm just about to put my hoop in and stitch round number one, which is the outline. So I'm gonna place my batting down over the outline and my fabric over the top and tape it in place I'll pop that in my machine and stitch round number two Next I'm going to add my fussy fabric and once again it's going to be going to a 30 degree angle anti-clockwise. So there, top and bottom. And now I can tape it in place. And I'll pop that in my machine and stitch round number three. I've changed my bobbin and thread over to white and I'm now going to stitch round number four which is the quilting in the circle. I'm skipping round five which is the letter so I've moved my machine on to round six and I'm now going to trim up the excess fabric around the circle and add the backing. I now put that in my machine and stitch round number six to secure it. 
Next is round number seven, the zigzagging around the circle. I'm now going to stitch round number eight. I've changed my bobbin and thread back to gold and that's going to do the quilting around the outer frame. Next we come to round number nine which is the satin stitching around the circle. So time to trim it all up. So now we come to join our previous two pieces to this one and we're going to do exactly the same as we did last time and we're going to add this piece here to this piece here and pin it in place. And I'm just lining up the two stitch lines again so that they marry up. I'll now pop that in my machine and stitch round number 10 and that's going to do the zigzag stitch along this join. Next is round number 11 and that's going to do the satin stitch around the border here, here, here and here. And I can now free this from the hoop. And then we have our first three pieces completed. I have loaded file D and I've hooped my wash away stabiliser. I've put a piece of cutaway on top, taped it all in place and I'm now going to stitch round number one of file D and that's going to give me my outline. I'm going to place my batting over the outline and my fabric. and tape it in place. I'm now going to pop that in my machine and stitch round number two to secure them. Now comes my fussy fabric at a 30 degree angle so I'm just going to turn this clockwise just by one and place this in the middle. and tape it down. I now pop that in my machine and stitch round number three. I've changed my threads over to white and I'm now going to stitch round number four and that's going to do the quilting in the circle. Next will be round number five which would be the letter and then after that will be round number six that would stitch the eyes in the rabbit that's with the letter. I'm not doing those so I've set my machine to round number seven. I'm going to trim up um, this uh, circle and then I'm going to add my backing. So I'm going to turn my hoop over and I'm going to place my fabric over the outline as before and tape it down. I now put that in my machine and stitch round number seven to secure the backing. Next is round number eight and that's going to do the zigzagging around the circle. Next is round number nine and that's going to quilt the outer frame. And now round number ten that's going to do the satin stitch around the circle. Okay, so time to trim up.
We've now arrived at the joining, so I'm going to place my uh, large piece onto here as before in exactly the same place. And I'm going to pin it in place. And once again, the, the stitch line from this um, hexagon to this one are one on top of the other. Oops. <laughs> okay, my pins are well out of the way. I'm now going to pop this into my machine and stitch round number 11 and that's going to do the zigzagging to join these two pieces together. And next is round number 12 which is a satin stitch on four sides. And I'm now going to free this from the hoop. And that's our fourth piece joined. I've loaded file E into my machine and I've hooped my wash away stabiliser. I've put a piece of uh, cutaway over the top and taped it in place. And I'm now going to stitch round number one, which will give me my outline. So time to lay down batting and fabric over the outline as before. I'll place that in my machine and stitch round number two. Now it's time to add uh, my fussy fabric. So I'm going to turn this clockwise so that the straight line's at the top and place my fabric down. I'll now put that back in my machine and stitch round number three to secure it. Next is round number four and that's the quilting of the circle. Now time to trim up around the edge of the fabric. Next we're going to add the backing. And take it in place. Now pop that in my machine and stitch round number six to secure it. I have skipped round, round number five. If you're going to uh, stitch the letter, then you need to stitch round number five first, of course. Next is round number seven, the zigzagging around the circle. I'm now going to stitch round number eight. I've changed my bobbin and thread back to gold and that's going to do the quilting around the outer frame. Next is round number nine and that's going to do the satin stitch around the edge of the circle. And now time to trim it all back. So now we're going to join them and we're going to add this edge here to this one here as before and I'm going to pin that in place. I now pop that back in my machine and stitch round number 10 to join them. Next is round number 11 and that's going to do satin stitch on four sides of the hexagon. And now to free it from the hoop.
There's our fifth hexagon attached. I've loaded file F into my machine and I've hooped my wash away stabiliser. I've put a piece of cutaway on top and taped it in place as before. And I'm now going to stitch round number one and that's the outline. I'm going to place my batting over the outline and my fabric on top and tape them down. I'm now going to put that back in my machine and stitch round number two to secure them. Now to add the fabric, so I'm going to turn my hoop so that the straight edge is to the top and bottom and place my fabric down and tape it in place. And now pop that in my machine and stitch round number three. I've changed my bobbin and thread to white and I'm now going to stitch round number four which is the quilting. Now time to trim up around the edge of the fabric. Next we're going to add the backing. And take it in place. I now pop that in my machine and stitch round number six to secure it. I have skipped round, round number five. If you're going to uh, stitch the letter, then you need to stitch round number five first, of course. Next is round number seven, and that's the zigzagging around the circle. Next is round number eight, and that's a quilting on the outer frame. Next is round number nine, and that's a satin stitch around the edge of the circle. So next to trim it up, starting at the back. So next we're going to join this edge the same as we have done with all the rest. And this piece here we want kept out the way because when it's done it's going to come right the way around and up here on the next round. So I'm going to pin this back to itself. and onto the corner of the stabiliser like that I'm now going to pop this into my machine and stitch round to number 10 I'm now going to stitch round number 11 and that's going to zigzag round here so now we're going to join the other side so I'm going to remove these pins bring this round and line up the stitching as before and I really want to push my pins right back towards the hoop as far as I can get them because it's quite a narrow space with uh, this 4x4 hoop ok I think that looks ok so next I'm going to stitch round number 12 and that's going to do the zigzagging down here. Next is round number 13 and that's the satin stitch around the border. So now time to free this from the hoop.
I've loaded the center file and as before hooped my wash away stabilizer placed my cutaway over the top and taped it down and I'm now going to stitch round number one for my outline I'm going to place my batting over the outline and my fabric over the top and tape it down I'm now going to put that in my machine and stitch round number two It's now time to add the centre fabric. I'm not adding a fussy cut one to the centre because where it goes upside down and all sorts all the way around the edge, I don't want anything that goes up one particular way. So I've just used a piece of plain fabric for mine. I'm now going to take that in place. I'm going to pop that in my machine and stitch round number three. I've changed my thread and bobbin to white and I'm now going to stitch round number four which is the quilting. Round number five is the wording Happy Easter in the middle. I'm not stitching that so I've gone straight on to round number six. So I'm going to trim up my fabric. Turn my hoop over and I'm going to add my backing fabric next. I now put that in my machine and stitch round number six to secure it. Next is round number seven and that's a zigzagging around the circle. I'm now going to stitch round number eight. I've changed my bobbin and thread back to gold and that's going to do the quilting around the outer frame. I'm going to stitch round number nine which is the satin stitch around the circle. So it's time to trim up again. So I'm going to start from the back. So next we come to placing our outer um, hexagons onto the centerpiece and I'm going to be pinning it. I'm going to line up um, the line here, uh, the stitch lines one over the other and then just pop a pin in and then I'm going to do the opposite side. like so and now I can work my way round um, in sequence I need to make sure that my pin heads are out of the way. I'm going to straighten this one up because it looks a bit too far over for my liking. So 
right up. Okay. So I'm going to pop that into my machine and stitch round to number 10 and that's going to do down here and stop here. Next is round number 11 and that's going to stitch from here to here. And round number 12 is going to do the last two raw edges. That was wrong actually. It takes the needle round to the top. It's, it's round number 13 that stitches the last two uh, raw edges here. And finally round number 14 which is going to stitch the satin stitch border around the centre. Now it's time to free it from the hoop. So I'm going to remove all the pins. Turn it over and cut it away. And now just to dissolve the wash away stabiliser around the edges and on the back and for that I'm using uh, hot water and a brush. I'm just going to go around the edges. And there it is finished. I hope you enjoyed this stitch along. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of new videos as they're published. Please do pop along to Creative Kiwi's Facebook group. Sign up if you haven't already. We'd love to see your photos of your makes. And thank you very much for joining me.